Hey everyone, it's Army Gaming. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Monster Legends. We're going to be taking on the Titan Dungeon, and today on the third day of the Titan Dungeon, we have Wild Bird. This is the most interesting of the bunch, in my opinion, because he has the Pierce mechanic, so he can literally attack whoever you have. Doesn't matter if you have a Megaton Monster, doesn't matter if you have DA. Alright, but he's actually also one of the easier ones. So, Tankiron is the hardest for most players. Hugoi, he can be blinded, you can reduce his accuracy. And then we have Wild Bird who can be denied. So he's actually really easy actually. So let's click enter and let's click on him. And look, he has Pierce. Skills will pierce through defensive status effects such as evasion, mirror, shields, taunts, and bulwark. But doesn't say he's immune to stun. Doesn't say he's immune to freeze. Immune to possession. So you can literally land whatever you want on this monster. So for Wild Bird, if you are completely free to play player, you should. Um, once again, at the end of the day, you utilize whatever you have at your disposal. Um, but looking through my monsters, Cat would be a very good one. She can transform monsters into a baby. Now, do keep in mind, he does have the Bulwark trait. If you have a monster that has True Vision or something to increase accuracy, that could help a lot. Um, but yeah, Cat would be a good one. Let's see what else. Turning your monsters into a baby, though, that doesn't help because Pierce bypasses that and can attack babies, actually. Let's look through. Master Rat for some cleansing and for some support. Ollie could still work, right? Ollie has a stun skill. He's still very tanky, so the enemy's still going to have to struggle to take him down. Let's see what else we have uh, scrolling down. I'm just trying to look at the monsters I have. Dream, I believe, has a daze as well as a stun. Um, so any monster that can cleanse too, Dispelling Fist, would be also be a good talent to run because you can cleanse the enemy's immune to stun and then stun again. Um, the Queen right here. Phase, honestly, the Season 1 free-to-play monster. Man, look at her. She can do Possession. She can do Mega Possession. So we're definitely going to run the Mega Possession. And we are going to run the the blind and the total blind. Like these three skills right here can block off the enemy a good amount of time. And then the blind with the daze. Ooh, that's powerful. Um, I think I have a one turn cooldown. Should I run the one turn cooldown? We're going to run the one turn cooldown as well. So that's going to be her skill set. So phase one of the better ones you can run. Oh, she's actually level 134. I might as well feed her. I don't know why she hasn't been fed. All right, there we go. All right, and then here we are going to run. Like I said, I could do dream wing um he wouldn't help hammer hammer just for some tankiness equalaria for some resurrection and cleansing let's see what she can do most positive effects from all enemies yes that is awesome all right so I, i'm gonna run both revival skills i'm gonna oh removes positive effects and that's spamble fair strike oh that is awesome total damage reduction that is awesome too equalaria you rock we also have blind blind and yeah all right so we're gonna go with this monster i think her skill set is fine major damage reduction as well all right, we're going to get rid of the, um, I don't, I feel like I won't need the team clan, so we'll go with this. So again, completely free to play monsters. Look, I won't even give her another, I won't even unlock her slots just to show you guys that you work with whatever you have. You might not have the best runes, the best relics, whatever, but you ultimately at the end of the day work with whatever you have. So I have her, um, I'm going to give her a life though, just for survivability. There we go. So now she has life, um, Equalary has all life and then this monster needs more life. All right, let's do life, and I guess we'll keep, just because I don't want to go looking for another level 10 rune, we'll do this. So there we go. Yes, it's a level 10 rune, but look, I'm only giving him two level 10 runes and the other one's speed. So if you are free to play and you don't have 10s, use 7s. And by the way, 10s, yeah, you can get in Legendary 1 League, 9s and 10, 9s or 10 if you're lucky, you can get in Legendary 2 League. So it's easy enough to get runes, I would imagine. If you are having trouble, though, getting runes and you're wondering, where does everyone get runes? Where can I get level 7 runes? What you do is you literally go to the team shop. SP has not changed this. The best thing to purchase are not monsters, are not these legendary monsters. The best thing to purchase are the 7 to 10 rune chests. This is the best value in the game. Look, I have been saving forever. I have 40,000 war coins. I have 95,000 war medals. I've been waiting for the time when SP is like, all right, guys, we're finally going to put some corrupted. Well, back then I was thinking they were going to put mythics and, and cosmics. I've been waiting for them to update the team shop and put some legit, like, exclusive monsters, right? We have Influxer in the Grand Duels. Why can't we have some corrupted PvP monsters, especially for the PvP wars? Man, I promised I wasn't going to rant, and now look at this. I mean, I ended up um, ranting. Um, Yeah, you can also get 8 to 10s, although I don't recommend it. I don't think it's worth the extra war medal just for a higher level um, war medal, although you could, right? I could <laughs> I could get a ton. I could get a ton of level 8 to 10s. Um, the VIP monsters I don't think is worth, and these I don't think is worth either. Maybe eventually they'll add obsidian relics, and you have a chance to get obsidian relics from the team shop. So I've been saving. I'm just grinding those out. Yeah, but I showed you where to get the level seven. And actually, just since we're here, um, we'll go to multiplayer. We'll go to leagues, and check that. So if you're legendary one, you get a level ten rune. If you're legendary two league, you get a nine 
or 10. And then if you're legendary 8, I think it's or legendary 3, it's 8. But yeah, you can you can get high level runes as free to play. Um, like every two weeks. But with that being said, let's go into the mythic dungeon. Let's go into the Titan dungeon and let's see if we can win with this team right here. We're gonna click fight again. Um t I, I didn't really go over talents or anything, and I probably should have changed something. Barkhide, what do you have? I think tell me you have Barkhide. Okay, yeah, so anything that increases your viability. Alright, I'm cool with that. So we are gonna start here by applying stun, and it was a miss. We are gonna do the mega possession, and it was a miss. We are going to do the total damage reduction, and it was a miss. Once again, remember he does have Voldark. So um, here we are going to, I think I should have put the day skill on Ollie, um, but that's fine. We are gonna go with the regular possession, and it was a land, woo, it was a land. That's what we're waiting for. Um, here we are going to do nothing, we're gonna recharge. All right, there we go. And then looking at this, I probably want my Equalaria going first in the turn order, just so she can start off by that major damage reduction and to remove positive effects. So now I can't do anything. Right now I'm just chilling here. So here, might as well put on the shield. Um, applies blind. Yeah, gotta go for the total blind. And it was a success. All right, cool. Um, no need to remove anything. Oh, whoops. What was it record on zero damage anyways? There we go. Let's see if we can stun. That was a miss. Let's see if we can do the possession. And that was a land. Nice. All right, we are going to, this lasts for one turn, right? Yeah, one turn and I think I can do the major damage reduction just because it lasts for a couple. Oh, you saw days. Good. All right. Um, for fun, 50% life shield. Yeah, no, that's, that's not even for fun. Let's do that. 50% life shield. There we go. Um, I could do the blind just to keep that blind up. Oh, you're not even blind, but yeah, just to blind you. Yeah. So the, what I'm noticing now is her going in the turn order last. I don't like that because then I can't cleanse away the possession immunity because by then he'll go anyway. So that's something to keep in mind, the turn order of your monsters. Um, we are going to do remove positive effects from one enemy, um, the total damage reduction to miss. Again, Bulwark. So having increased accuracy, true vision, um, <laughs> anything like that would help me out a lot. All right, let's see if we can possess you. Mega possession, and it lands successfully. Nice. We're going to recharge. So he attacks himself. He cursed himself. He, he's bleeding. Oh, yeah. Dots on this monster. Bleed. Poison, anything that reduces out damage output, days combined with bleed and poison, that'll help you significantly as well. So he is possessed, so we are just going to recharge. There we go. Um, we might as well try to apply that blind on him. And there we go. We are going to recharge here. He attacks himself again. Okay. So now, see, I need <laughs> I need Eagle Area going to cleanse. So that way I can try to possess again. But that's fine. We will stun. Um, yeah, I can't possess, so we will go for the total blind. And that was a miss too. And we will go for the total damage reduction. So even though, um, yeah, even though I'm not removing the positive effects before trying to land everything, at least I have like three different types of denials. The damage reduction, the stun, the possession. And if something doesn't work, that's fine. Um, here I think I can just recharge. Uh, here, let's go for a possession again. Nope, miss. Let's go for the major damage reduction. And nope. Well, yeah, we got the major damage reduction, so that's all that matters. All right, we are going to apply my shield, 50% shield. We are going to go for the Mega Possession, and look, it successfully lands, we're going to recharge. Nanovirus and Positive Effects blocked on Wild Bird could also be a relatively easy, good thing to do on this monster. Um, we're going to recharge. We are going to go for the Blind, spammable, gotta love it. We are going to go for the Nothing, we're going to recharge. Alright, we are going to go for the Stun, and success. We are going to go for the Blind, again, zero cooldown. Do I have Stamina? Oh, I need Stamina on the monster. Uh, we are going to go for Rebirth, First Strike, nothing, we're going to recharge. Oh, by the way, going back to Cat, just because it, it popped into my head, she can also give your team life regen, so that, that helps out a lot. 50% um, life shield, boom. Oh, and I'm at the point where for sure I'll win now. This monster will revive if she was to die. I'm round 13, tank carry on, uh, not tank carry on. <laughs> um, uh, Ollie can tank a lot, so this would be relatively easy here, I would imagine. Um, we are going to recharge. And we'll go for the pacifism, and it missed, but that's fine. Yeah, see, I just tanked a whole attack, and I'm good. My Barkides are still kicking in, so that gives me shield. Um, I think this is my heal. Peanut energy. Look, completely messed up. Didn't even bring the right turn order. Didn't even bring the monster I needed, but we are still solid. We are still good. Major damage reduction. Yep. Barkide kicks in, and then stun. No success. And then, yeah, recharge. Look, didn't even lose anyone, even though uh, one rune <laughs> on equal area. Completely messed up the turn order, 
and we're still solid. We're still good. There's my 400 Ludum. So yeah, Wild Bird, um, he could maybe be perceived as hard because of the Pierce, but then super easy because you can literally deny him nonstop as much as you want, reduce the accuracy as much as you want. So Faye is one of the better monsters. Um, yeah, I think that's it, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below what team are you using? What is your strategy to beat the Titan, all right? To beat Wild Bird specifically. I'm looking forward to next week because then I'm going to take on the Artifact Monster and show you guys how to beat that one free to play as well. But we got to wait until Friday. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what team you're using in the comments below. Thank you very much, and remember to subscribe.